I wasn't ready for the exam. I had barely studied. I postponed the date for the exam and I almost failed. But in this process, I learned something very important and I wanted to share that with you. So here's what happened. I began thinking about this certification after I completed the previous certification. If you had seen my previous video, I had completed a, a solution architect certification by AWS. After I completed that certification, I got a, got a 50 percentage of voucher for my next certification. And that's when I began thinking about, okay, what should I study next? When I was thinking about that, uh, what came to my mind was, why don't I study about machine learning? And AI in general. So I've been hearing about AI for a quite a long time, right? We all have been. We have been working in uh, like with ChatGPT for a long while. I was also looking at AI agents as part of my full-time work where I had to create few POCs regarding AI agents too. So I thought, why don't I use certification as a mechanism to study what happens inside AI and how these things actually work. And with that in mind, I set a deadline at first and register for the exam right away. Uh, I chose Jan 20th uh, as the deadline and I thought I have uh, like enough time to study for that. So to prepare for this examination, what I did was I uh, bought a Udemy course uh, similar to what I had done previously. That uh, material was the primary source of information uh, for this examination. But as I wanted to learn more about how things work behind the scenes, I had done few other things also. So in general, I was consuming a lot of uh, content regarding AI itself. Uh, of how things are working, like general blog posts, general YouTube videos, to know what was happening in the industry in general. For the exam preparation, what also helped me was a workshop that I had taken uh, like a couple of months ago. It was a two-day workshop conducted by Professor Sumod of uh, TKM in, uh, College of Engineering. In this workshop, he shared his knowledge about neural networks, uh, supervised and supervised learning, uh, what is clustering, what is k-means, how to draw a confusion matrix, how you can do all these things in Python, uh, using uh, scikit-learn and things like that. Uh, and that's when I first wrote my first lines of machine learning code. Exam has uh, like four segments to it. One is the data preparation side, which is of 28% uh, weightage. Then the, there is the ML model development, which is around 26% uh, weightage. Then the deployment and the orchestration of ML models, that's around 24%. And the ML monitoring part, which is around 22 percentage. Um, so these were the four areas that the questions revolved around. So this certification also had uh, like 65 questions um, for a thousand marks, uh, and the pass mark was 72 percentage. So with that content and that deadline, um, I was not able to cover or have confidence to appear for the exam. Um, so then I decided to postpone the exam, and uh, then I changed the date from Jan 20 to Feb 10 with the hope that I. I'll have a few more weeks to study uh, for the examination. And during these preparation weeks, um, I came across uh, Andre Karpati's uh, video on deep dive uh, on LLMs. Um, that also gave me a few insights on how things work inside an LLM and uh, you know how a foundation model actually works. Uh, it's a three and a half hour long video. I have not completed that video yet. By the time I had come to the examination date, um, I had completed around 20% of the course material by watching videos. Uh, the rest 20, 25% maybe I covered via the, uh, uh, the PDF slides of the course. And then um, using the general knowledge that I had, uh, I went and wrote the exam. The questions were good and uh, they were challenging. It was really con uh, confusing for me to actually know the right answer uh, because uh, everything, like a lot of things looked actually very similar. But I... Um, passed barely so uh, i got 72.7 uh, percentage uh, 72 percentage is the uh, cutoff for the pass mark at the end of the uh, examination result there is a diagram that shows which areas need improvement from my end so for me the key point mentioned there was um, regarding ml monitoring um, so like i said i just covered like 50 percentage of the course content from the udemy course um, and the area that i skipped a lot was uh, regarding ML monitoring. And I wrote the exam with my general awareness about the AWS ecosystem and the uh, experience that I had with the solution architect um, examination. Um, and I did not uh, study specifically regarding ML monitoring. Um, so the gap of knowledge in that area was missing for me. And uh, that was the area that needs improvement a lot. And that was mentioned in the result too. So at first I felt very bad uh, that I just barely passed. 
Um, but then I, when I look back, uh, if I had not set this deadline and I had not worked towards it, uh, I would have never studied uh, this much or as much as I studied uh, for the certification uh, with that goal. Um, at the same time, I was not uh, like writing the certification uh, to show that I am an expert, but, but it is more like uh, I wanted to challenge myself uh, to learn more. This is just one stepping stone uh, in that direction. And uh, I would like to learn more about this stuff. If you are on a similar journey, um, let's talk. Uh, drop a comment to let me know what uh, you are uh, working on. And if you want to um, know about the Solution Architect exam, I'll post a link here about my experience about the Solution Architect exam. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.